Uh, we wanted to talk about your foundation. You co-founded Ryan Animal Rescue Foundation with your wife, Ashley. Can you tell us more about that and how it helps people and how people can help? <laughs> <laughs> the dogs that. Yeah, man. Um, uh, I run a big animal foundation. We raise money, awareness for shelter animals, encourage people to rescue and adopt um, instead of breeding and all that stuff. And I know it's a different culture where you're from, but there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of pets and shelters that uh, need a home, you know, so give them a look first if you can. And uh, my wife, um, early in our, you know, relationship, she she took a job at an animal shelter and she was doing the dirty work, man, to pay her side of the bills. And that's what she wanted to do. Uh, very independent. And I, I, I thought that was really cool of her. So I would stop by and I started to see these animals and throw them up on my Instagram to help them get adopted. Kind of grew into a thing. So, you know, animals is my cause. A lot of animal people are good people. They're people I kind of vibe with. And I bring my kids uh, to the shelter. We volunteer at the shelter, teach my kids responsibility through that. Um, so yeah, we're at our local shelter all the time, walking dogs, taking them out, you know, get, let them get some run, put them on my Instagram, help them get adopted. Cause you know, they need a, need a home. It's just not, it's not just dogs though. No they, cats, dogs, anything, anything you find in the shelter, animals in general. And obviously with COVID, um, you know, we help people with dog food to be able to afford to keep their pets. Cause sometimes financially, if you got to make tough decisions, you might not have enough money to feed your, your, your man, you know, don't even tell me nothing about no damn tough decision on no dogs. Yeah. So. I had a uh, <laughs> You laughing Be you know, serious the two little The two little uh, Palmer Or what is it Palm Boy <laughs> Multi-poos Mul Multi-poos Yeah, yeah but what multi -poos. Do you, What do you think of David Portnoy's Rescue pit bull Miss Peaches Logan Say that again I said what do you think Of David Portnoy's Rescue pit bull Miss Peaches Oh yeah I, I think I saw that man I think it's awesome man um, He's got a huge following Obviously <laughs> And uh, you know Pit bulls get Get a negative stigma A lot um, so I think, I think anybody highlighting their personal life and, you know, their pets, I mean, pets are family members nowadays, man. You gotta love your dogs. And, and I think what Dave Portnoy did, I think that was pretty dope for the cause. Man, you know, it was just, here's my, one of my little, one of my little, oh, wow. Yeah. They, they, the, the coldest. Hey, on, he showed me a picture on the PJ, by the way. Oh, <laughs> stop, man. Stop, man. Stop, man. Stop. Stop, man. On stop. Stop, the dog stop, was stop. on the PJ. Stop, man. We got to travel with him. What, what, what else you going to do? Look at him. He just, he lounging He's in his chilling, chair. Yeah. So we got two yeah, of these. You, you get it. You get but it, But at man. the end of the day, no, I get it. But I, we, me and my son was laughing because it was a tough call. So we got two multi-pools. And the coldest hustle in the game to me, out of all hustles, the water game is a hustle. Yeah. This is one of the ultimate hustles. Something that we can get for free. They put in a plastic bottle and they sell it to you. But the coldest game is the veterinarian Bad. game, man. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm man. just telling you. They charge what they want. Oh, man. We had an issue. <laughs> Our dog had um, kidney stones. So he had kidney stones a year ago to the date. And so we have insurance, but our insurance didn't cover it all. Yeah. So we had to pay for it. Okay, cool. Whatever this first time around. So now, second time come around, they reemerge kidney stones. I'm like, well, I thought we got rid of that before. So, you know me, I'm like, oh, you know, they call me and the first thing they say is, oh, the dog, this, that, it went to the vet, they got the kidney stone issues. I'm like, well, what did they say? They said, we got to make this decision. Either we going to pay this or put him down. You know me, I'm yeah. like, hey, you want, we can buy five dogs with that. <laughs> but, but then at the end of the day, they get you emotional. She, uh, yeah, my kids, yeah, they tell me, no, the that yeah, you're so man. mean. <laughs> you're mean, dad. I'm like, what you mean? Like, this is it your school tuition. It gets expensive. And then man. all of a sudden, I just said, all right, whatever, man. Y'all make y'all make the decision on what y'all want to do. I put it back on them. So then they went ahead and had the surgery again. Yeah. But it's just like, man, I should have been a veterinarian. Well, you don't know dogs have ACLs, right? Yeah. So I, I I adopted my pity. He had a bad hip. I knew he needed a hip surgery, or they're going to put him down. So I, I was, saw the case. I was yeah. like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna help this dog out. So I adopted my dog Leo, uh, a blue pit, and I paid for his hip surgery. Got him right. So he come out the hip surgery, you know, wobbling a little bit. Get him right. Strengthen his back, legs up. Boom. Six months later, he jog and go to catch a ball. Jump up. Boom. Blows a knee out. Ace, so I take him to the vet. ACL. I didn't even know dogs had ACL. Yeah, they got ACL. <laughs> ACL. Boom, I pay for the ACL. They like, look, we're just telling you there's a good chance the other ACL gonna go. Two years later, 
Boom, other ACL. And he ain't going to no normal vet. He going to the, the top ACL no, vet in yeah. Boston. Yeah. I'm in the number one. He going to ACL James vet. Andrews, who did Aaron Rodgers Achilles ACL for vet. So I'm paying a, a specialist. <laughs> he got an underwater treadmill recovery routine. They have laser, they was doing laser therapy on him. Man. So he was the the bill was getting high. So he did both ACLs, the hip. So then one of the one of the plates they put in his leg got infected. His leg blew up. <laughs> he almost died. So I had to Man. get him. So I'm calling my financial advisor. Like, you know, you got to call him on a big purchase. You know, that's how I set it up. Keep me in check. So I'm like, hey, man. He's like, the dog again? I'm like, yeah, man. He's like, you got to do it. You're in this deep. I say, yep. So Leo has cost me close to $20,000 in surgeries from, no, from all the legs. It's, yeah, it's and, expensive. And uh, my man's still kicking 11 years in. But, he, but I'm happy, man. I, I I don't regret it at all. You remember, see, Keyshawn, the first time we got his, we had the surgery, he came home. He was in his his uh, little thin cone on his face so he doesn't yeah. uh, bite himself or lick himself and all that, right? So check this out, though, Logan. I come home. I'm like, where the fuck is the dog at? <laughs> dog, One dog is there. The other dog ain't at home. So I'm like, okay, I called Jen. I'm like, you have the dog with you? She goes, no, they're at home. I'm like, at home where? So I run all over our house, upstairs, downstairs, all over the place, down, the basement, everything. Just I'm looking for the dog. Now we live in the mountains, and ain't nothing in the mountains but wildlife. Yeah. Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes and, and oh, no. mountain lions and bobcats. They so I'm looking for the dog. The dog done literally left our house and walked about a quarter of a mile down to the front gate where the security shack is at. He done took his ass and walked down to the front. <laughs> and in that time, a coyote could have got him and munched him up. And I had just spent a bunch of money getting him <laughs> in the <laughs> surgery. Man, I was so damn mad. He worried about his investment. <laughs> man, I was so mad, <laughs> man. But no, nah, that's just some dog uh, stories. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate uh, you I love for animals, joining. man. I love my animal people. Yeah, no. It's, it, I, I like my dogs. It, it, they're expensive, but... You know, no, it's people. crazy. You said, so are kids. You said kids they were gonna kids. put put your dog down for uh, a hip, like because he had a bad hip. Well, he was in a he was in a shelter. It's a big dog, and he had this this uh, pretty much a broken hip, and he couldn't really walk. So yeah. he really was just no one was adopting him. So yeah. after a while, they was thinking about putting him down, and create more space. Like he's mm -hmm. not adoptable, right? No one wants to inherit. Oh, I want to adopt this pit bull. There's all a bunch of pit bulls. Get this one. And he's going to cost you this much. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of, you know, stepped in and, and, and was the one to help save him. And, and man, that dog's been the best. That is our best family dog. We got a couple dogs and he has been our best and dog. And you probably feed me chicken and rice and peas. And he, he went to the penthouse. He's living good, man. He, <laughs> he's on a special diet now, but um, yeah, man, it was, it was awesome. I took that dog on TV. All, everything with my foundation, we've been on billboards together. He's been, you know, the, the poster boy for what I do and, and try to help. You know, you get breed discrimination. When you try to rent an apartment, they don't let you rent it if you have a pit bull, right? Certain dogs, they don't let you be a renter. Really? Yeah, I, I got turned that. down by like 20 different spots I was trying to rent in New, New Jersey, New York because I had a pit bull. Oh, I didn't know that. So it no was idea. like, you know, we were trying to like, man, it's messed up, man. So I went, of course, me, if I have a problem, I'm going to air it out. So I'm like, you know, trying to tell people, man, do y'all struggle with this too? Like, do you struggle? Trying? And everyone's like, yeah, man, I couldn't rent a place for a year because my dog, they kicked me out because my dog. So I was like, man, they, they hate on certain dogs. All right, man. Thanks, man. Logan, thanks for Appreciate joining you, the show. I had a fun. fun. So much. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.